All right, guys, I got to tell you about a really important progressive uh, who's got a corporate Democrat and establishment Democrat running against him. The race is coming up real soon. Uh, and uh, the primary is on March 3rd, the same day as the presidential candidates. That progressive's name is Jessica Cisneros. Uh, she's running against uh, Henry Cuellar, uh, who is the worst Democrat in Congress. He, he voted with Trump 70% of the time. So he's obviously like literally not a Democrat. Um, he can call himself a Democrat, but if you vote with Republicans 70% of the time, I got news for you, you're a Republican. So that it's called a primary, but really that's a, that race is going to be determined by that primary because it's a very blue district. And in that primary, you uh, in reality have a Democrat versus a Republican. Jessica Cisneros is a just Democrat. Uh, the primary is March 3rd, the same day as the uh, primaries in, uh, in the presidential race. And you have got to get out there and vote for her. But this is the end of the quarter. You got to also help her in terms of fundraising and in terms of volunteers. Super important, guys. So uh, justicedemocrats.com slash Jessica to help her. Uh, I'll put the link in the description box below later. Uh, and by the way, there's all these wonderful Just Democrats throughout the country. Justicedemocrats.com. Go check them out. I bet you they're in your neck of the woods, so at least for a lot of you. And if you can volunteer for them, fantastic. I know what a giant difference that makes. If you could donate to them, they may be able to uh, outraise their opponents. If they can't, even so to have a good amount of money will make the press give them more free media. So we have got to defeat Cuellar. If we don't defeat Cuellar, the corporate Democrats are going to be greatly emboldened. They're gonna say, see, it doesn't matter. I could vote with Trump 70, 80, 90% of the time. Do you know that Cuellar is taking Koch brother money? Of course he's against all the progressive priorities, but almost all the corporate Democrats are. But he is above and beyond, right? He has voted with the Republicans on war, obviously on protecting the banks. Uh, I mean, just name a vote, and he's voted with the Republicans and with Donald Trump. He aids and abets him. He, he's for a border wall. I mean, the guy's horrific. So if Jessica wins on March 3rd, that sends a clear message to the establishment Democrats. You cannot keep supporting the Republicans, cannot keep voting with Republicans, and just because you call yourself a Democrat, hope to win. And she, Jessica would be able to defeat Cuellar with the entire Democratic Party backing Cuellar. Because the DCCC said, we don't care how much you love and support Donald Trump. As long as you got a D on your helmet, you got a D on your chest, we'll help you be a fake Democrat and support Republicans with your votes. That's what the DCCC is doing. Literally what they're doing with Cuellar. They're backing him instead of the actual Democrat in the race. It's disgusting. So he's gonna have a lot of money. So you gotta help Jessica make sure that she can compete. She doesn't need to have as much as him. She just needs to have enough to be able to win the race, just like AOC did in her race. So justdemocrats.com slash Jessica. Today's the last day where the numbers will be reported publicly. And if she has a big number, then she also gets extra free media. So it's a double uh, positive thing. So make sure that you're checking that race out. But go check out justdemocrats.com for all of the progressives in your area. They, or even if they're not in your area, they need your help. For every person who gave a dollar to AOC or volunteered for AOC that I have run into later said it made them feel so great because they made that victory possible. And that's absolutely true. You can make that possible for all of those Justice Democrats. And so uh, please get involved. Today's maybe the most important day because it's the end of the quarter and the numbers become public and you get free media on top. So uh, again, I'll have the links down below. Thank you for listening, guys. And thank you for being wonderful progressives who are uh, making change happen. You guys are responsible for that. When we pass those bills, you, I, I believe you should get all of the credit. And, and if there's anything I can do about it on the Young Turks or otherwise, I'm going to make sure that people understand you did that. Thank you, guys. Love you.